Okay guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. For those of you who are new, my name is Daniel Townsend. I'm a local music instructor and I teach a bunch of different things. Guitar, piano, drums, voice. And today we're talking guitar. In fact, today we're talking John Petrucci. So today we're looking at John Petrucci's Terminal Velocity. So this is a um, instrumental album that has Mike Portnoy on drums and Dave LaRue also on bass. So just to preface this real quick, I've been a huge Dream Theater fan most of my life and by extension a huge John Petrucci fan. He's one of my top guitarists of all time, <laughs> absolutely. And I bet you if you play guitar you at least know of who he is and you definitely know of his riffs. Uh, like that first one I opened up with was a riff from Dream Theater. In fact, that was Metropolis Part 1, which is a really great song. So one reason everyone's all excited about this is the fact that, again, Mike Portnoy is drumming on this. So Mike Portnoy was, if you don't know, the original drummer of Dream Theater, and uh, he was the original drummer as well. And he left in 2010, so 10 years ago he left Dream Theater and pursued other things. Um, all of which, all the things he pursued were just massively, incredibly, incredibly cool to listen to. Um, but this is cool because it's kind of like a return. John Petrucci here and um, Portnoy coming back together to create music together. That's a huge thing. Everyone has been like looking forward to this moment and it's so exciting to see these guys play together. Uh, the, the sort of synergy that they have is just incredible. So I'm excited to hear this. I actually haven't heard it yet. Uh, I went to listen to it the day it released and I realized I should probably wait and actually like film my reaction to this. So I haven't heard any of this. Um, one thing I did before starting the video though, is I wrote down, I guess you can call them some Petrucciisms, some things that uh, I kind of expect him to write, some sort of, you know, stylistic approaches and things that he likes to do. So I'm curious to see how many check marks we get on this little list I wrote. So here's what we've got. The first thing is some sort of open string riff or some sort of pedal tone built around an open string. For example, something like this. <laughs> The second one is some sort of modal tune, um, some sort of modal thing. You know, when I think John Petrucci and his solo work, I think um, Glasgow Kiss pretty much immediately, which is a super modal tune. You know, it's a very Mixolydian tune, so we'll see if he does some of that. Another one is the use of fourths as power chords, this sort of thing that he does. Uh, what else do we got? The Alex Lifeson chord might show up, that F sharp 7 sus 4. I know he loves that. My next bullet point says 7 string. Next bullet point says open 1st and 2nd string sort of concepts, something like this. open strings. So we'll see if that comes in. And then lastly, I have jam section, question mark, <laughs> written. Um, he tends to write a lot of like maybe blues-based jam sections, just something that's going to kind of repeat for a while. We could really drill a solo. I'm almost certain that we're going to hear something like that in the song, but we'll see. So let's just jump into it. And again, we haven't really heard anything like this since 2005. Um, Petrucci came out with suspended animation. So... Here we go. All right, I'm so excited to hear this. things. That was really like, that was really uplifting. Um, I love this video, by the way. Uh, you can see the fingeries on the right here. Um, 
Next two, I, I have, is that Baby Yoda? That's totally Baby Yoda. Okay, the video is excellent. We got Baby Yoda, we have Fingeries. By the way, if you play guitar, get some Fingeries. This stuff just, you spray it on the fretboard, even the back of the neck, let it sit for a couple minutes, and it just smooths it out. That was very modal, but it kind of shifted around a little bit. That was excellent. Also, Portnoy, very standard sort of Portnoy uh, fills in there, and it just fit beautifully. I'm already so excited. I'm gonna scoop back just a bit before this next section kicks us back in. Here we go. Pretty uplifting sort of E major stuff, it sounded like. Um, right? A lot of open string stuff going on. So far, you're doing me proud, man. Yeah, yeah. You're definitely pulling off what I thought you might do. <laughs> this is awesome. Those, those were some pretty epic lines, too, um, moving up there. So far, pretty major in terms of the sound, but it does like shift out of that here and there. This is really cool. I also like the effect that he's using on the guitar here for that section. Um, it's definitely not just a distorted guitar. He's using some other effects on top of that. And Baby Yoda makes yet another entrance, um, powering his epic guitar craziness. <laughs> There it is! Alex Lifeson chord. We got it, I think. Let me listen again. I might be wrong, but I heard it go to a Lydian thing there. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Petrucci, I love you so much, man. Keep doing this. This is amazing. some hearts right there, seeing um, Portnoy and Petrucci sitting in that room together. Ah, this is so good, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll keep going. <laughs> Say, like I'm really enjoying the way that it sits in that major sound and then shifts out of it for a second and brings it back. It's this constant sort of ebb and flow there in that section. That's really cool. And Portnoy is just killing these parts. It sounds so incredibly well done. Like if I had headphones on, I'm sure this mix would just blow me away. Fortunately, I'm listening on my uh, my Mac speakers here, but I can already tell this is this is a gorgeous mix. I think he's using his that is his amp there, that boogie, right? Yeah. The, uh, what do they call it? The JPC, <laughs> the, the Mark II C Plus sort of John Petrucci version. Nah, that would be cool to get my hands on one of those if I had the money for it. Let's continue. <laughs>
incredible. <laughs> yeah, a lot of great, you know, Petrucci likes to do this thing where he sits in like the modal sort of uh, scales for a bit and then like throw in that sweet blues lick. And he's just going back and forth between that. That, that ending was really nice, outlining those changes there. Uh, that that was a fantastic section. After this, I'm gonna have to listen back to this quite a few times because this is this is really inspiring stuff. This is fantastic. <laughs> section it blew my mind every section and I was about to pause it and say something and then it got even more intense and legendary holy sh that was a lot oh my god okay well one thing we can do open strings check <laughs> we definitely got some open strings going on in that dissecting that would be like that would take a whole hour to get dissect what just happened there that was intense Another thing that's really cool in those sections is when you hear Portno kind of outline what he's doing in the solo, too. You know, if you hear triplets, you might hear triplets coming from Portnoy. Just adding to the overall sort of um, theming of that solo was really incredible. I'm blown away by that. That was amazing. <laughs> this album is going to be so much fun to listen to. <laughs> Massive open string diminished run there, and and then that run afterward. And what's cool is you hear um, Larue's just following these lines on bass. Incredible, incredible. Can I listen to that one more time? <laughs> Not that it matters really, uh, but that diminished riff was pretty cool. I like that. The open string. Yeah. Hey guys, sorry for the random change of scenery here, but my phone ran out of space uh, while I was recording. Luckily we reached the end, right at that E diminished sort of riff thing going on there. Basically, all in all, fantastic song. I'm excited to listen to the rest of the album. Definitely go purchase the album, support our boy John Pertucci and everyone associated with creating this beautiful work of art. Um, I know I will be. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I've got more uh, reaction videos, educational videos, and maybe even scene videos coming up in the future. 
Um, so we'll see about that. But I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in that next video. See you later.